Hey there. It is weekly check-in time. I am not sitting outside because it is raining. <laughs> um, currently under a tropical storm watch, I think. I'm on the southeast coast of Florida, so I don't know if you can see that's the storm right now as of Tuesday, and this rain is part of the outer rain bands. Um, so I've been in Florida for almost 50 years. I'm a native to South Florida and I've been through more than a dozen hurricanes. Um, and it's still, you know, excites me, but it also is like, oh, like I know where I live, we're just going to get like wind and rain. Um, my apartment's gonna get very drippy because it's an old building but um I'm not super concerned like for for any of like the major things that can happen like what the people on the west coast of Florida might be experiencing or prepping for right now with um you know like the eyeball and tornadoes and everything so I'm getting <laughs> ready to like I've been preparing for days. I have like my food and water all set up. Thank goodness for camping gear. Um, where I live, there's not typically, um, I think I'm on the same grid as a hospital. So I don't typically lose power. I've been through, I think two hurricanes in the apartment that I'm in right now. Um, so that's good news for me. Like I'm not gonna like waste food or <laughs> Like, I'll still have, you know, like, the internet and stuff, which is really nice. Um, so, weekly check-in. You can tell what my priority is. Um, what went well last week and what didn't go as planned. So, I prioritized self-care last week because, like, the week before was a conference. And the week before that was, like, truck stuff. I don't know, maybe it's been longer, but it was like a few stressful weeks and my nervous system really tanked, so I made sure to get extra rest and take care of myself. I went for hikes and I had really great um, Zoom sessions with both um, coaches and my coaching clients and um, two of my windshield wipers off while I'm sitting here. <laughs> um, and with some people um, just networking. So that was really nice and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I really enjoy like getting to meet people um, all over the world. Um, I was chatting with somebody in the Netherlands and it's just really like delightful <laughs> to get to meet people that you wouldn't necessarily get to meet in person. Um, so what didn't go well is like the stress before like the week before really tanked my nervous system and my heart rate vari variability was like really low so my body was like stop <laughs> regroup <laughs> um so i needed a lot more rest than usual um so for this week what are your top three things to give your time energy and attention to my first priority is prepping for the hurricane, which is practically covering the state right now, like the outer bands are. Um, so, like today I've been cleaning my apartment, making sure it's nice and tidy. I have a lot of laundry to do. <laughs> um, just getting everything ready and like making extra ice getting everything ready in case we do lose power just in the rare chance like i already have like at least five gallons of water stockpiled in my camping i have one of those big camping containers um and i already like took pictures of the building beforehand i secured all of my um potted plants um, and I'm going to keep an eye on what the winds are going to be because like I have a limit to, if it's going to be like above 50 miles an hour, then I usually park my vehicle in like 
a parking garage downtown because there's a giant coconut tree <laughs> in my garden area full of coconuts so I just feel safer like if it gets above like normal stormy kind of weather to park it like in a protected place um so I'll probably do that tomorrow um So other than hurricane prep and sitting through the hurricane um, over the next two days, um, self-care, spending time with my son, I'm not sure if he's going to stay with me or go with his dad, um, it really depends on, he doesn't have school for the next two days, it's been cancelled, so um, whatever he wants, and um, I really want to get my content for October like scheduled, like created, scheduled, and like ready to go so I don't have to really think about it. Um, so the thinking part of that, and a lot of the creation part of that is already done. Um, so as long as I have power, I'm going to work on that over the next two days. And then I have implemented like a new schedule to where... I am prioritizing my projects and business like in the morning time and then doing my coaching and tutoring more um, like after I pick myself from school. So I'm going to uh, experiment with that and see how that goes. Well, um, <laughs> kind of start my routine in that obviously because there's no school for the next two days. <laughs> Things are going to be off this week. Um, so what will take the most energy this week and how can you plan around that? Um, well, all weekend, like I already gassed up my truck. I got non-perishable food and snacks. I, um, I've been deep cleaning today just because it feels better to, to hunker down in a, a nice clean space, you know? <laughs> um, just making sure like, there's nothing outside other than the coconuts, which I cannot reach, um, that could be potential flying hazards. And um, I feel like once I get the laundry done and put away tonight, like I'll be able to relax a little bit. What, um, what do you want to get done before the end of the month? Because it is the last month of September. And what are you shifting into next month, into October? So, as I mentioned before, I really want to get um, the content for at least October created and scheduled. And starting next month, I'm really going to focus on um, building out my lit review and um, redoing my dissertation proposal. I'd like to defend my proposal by the end of the month um, because I'm hoping to launch my research at the beginning of January so I have all these like <laughs> tasks planned out um but in the lit review I'm basically showing what's been covered in the different fields I'm in like coaching and trauma and self-care and how they all interconnect and what like the research and peer-reviewed journal articles already show and what the gaps are and how I'm trying to like fill those gaps um, so what's a positive feeling or emotion you can nurture for yourself this week? Calm, <laughs> obviously. Um, but I also wrote down safe because like why I feel like I'm not like super concerned about like losing my life in this hurricane. Like I don't really feel that way but it does create a lot of energy and excitement and and anxiety <laughs> um so just regulating my nervous system is really important especially like this is light rain this is regular Florida rain it's not like super bad or anything yet <laughs> Um, but during a hurricane, the rain comes like sideways and, you know, there could be, um, the ground is already really saturated right now, but there could be like flooded roadways. I'm not really planning on 
going anywhere like over the next two days like once um once it really once the winds start to pick up like I try to just hunker down so focusing on my nervous system since it's already like under capacity um and like more self-care and this morning I gave myself like a scalp massage with some oil and like lavender oil it felt so good and it really helps like it was just like a little thing that took like two minutes like you know like a scalp massage and I'm still feeling like really good from that <laughs> um so remember self-care doesn't have to be like time consuming or expensive to be effective um what does your head your heart and your body need this week so my head I need focus to get some deep work done my heart um, definitely healing and holding space for others especially people in our state right now um, and I'm gonna give myself a lot of heart hugs <laughs> it's just like putting your hand over your heart and it releases the same hormones and chemicals as like an actual hug does so it feels so good do it right now give yourself a heart hug yes okay um and then my body needs extra rest and self-care so um i am going to be like hyper vigilant with the storm <laughs> um so i have to be like extra intentional about you know making sure I am getting my needs met and that I'm not like spiraling right. <laughs> um, how do you want to close out this week or this month with intention? So I really want to connect to my work, um, time with my son and not get caught up in the storm that's a metaphor i can leave you with <laughs> don't get caught up in the storm um so that's the weekly check-in if you're interested in being coached i'm offering free um or pay what you can coaching um around self-care trauma conflict getting stuff done systems you name it i can help you with it um, and if you are in Florida, big hugs. I hope that um, you stay safe and dry. Okay? Take care.